being rude, but I'm hungry. Mm. Too hot. What it do? See the smoke jumping from that thing. What up, love? What's that, baby? You see international trying to get back on. It's a leaf. Roll call don't stop. Vero, what do I do? Got to still get some of your meals, G, but this is one of them Indian things. What up, though? Can't hear you, man. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. What's going on? What's the word? Talk to me. So look. All right. Well, the halal way is the only way. Mashallah to that. Mashallah. Now, so so with me, like, uh, you know, I, I want to be like the Steve Jobs slash Warren Buffett of hip hop. So, how can how can we accomplish that together? It's very simple. We're gonna utilize the halal way by changing the narrative. So 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 what we're doing, we're gonna save hip hop. And how are we gonna do that? By doing it the halal way. So a lot so, of people don't a lot of people ain't gonna understand. Everybody not Muslim, brother, so you gotta be mindful of that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Which is why, you know So it's like it's like a person that speak English and one that speak Latin. You gotta you know what I'm saying, you gotta get to both to believe in what you believe in and think how you thinking. Well yeah, that's that's the So easy so part. start there first. No that's, that's not the, that's not the easy part. Oh, but no, start there first. Oh, that's very simple. That's not that complicated. Okay. You know, that just take that just takes some proper motivation. That's all it is. You know, give them what they want. Show them what they want, and and doing it doing it consistently. You know, at least mm -hmm. three decades though. That you know, that's the run. It, it got to be at least a three decade run because they ain't gonna happen today tomorrow. It's gonna be you know constant, simple, straight to the point. Which is what? What is it? You gotta tell the people what you're even talking about. We've been on here for a minute. You gotta tell them what you're talking about. I mean, you know, I really know what it what it takes. You know, it's just pretty much communicating with you because this is our first time speaking. So, but you're saying what what takes? You're not you're not explaining yourself. What is it? it what well, what takes to do what? What is it that you're trying to do? You said something about Steve Jobs and uh, Warren Buffett. What is it? They do a lot of things. Both of them dudes done a lot of things. Uh, well, just uh, prosperity. That's it. That's all. That's all I can consider. Okay. So to prosper in doing what? You said something about changing hip hop. Change it to what? All right. Well, change the narrative. So as far as like, so we know if you're a Kingpin rapper, the highest level you're going to be is Jay-Z. If you're, mm -hmm. uh, if you're, uh, you know that you know pretty much. I'm just that's that, and that's about ninety percent of the direction. And I could be I could be off or on with those numbers. It's just I'm just throwing a number out there. But the point is, uh, everyone follow that trend because they see that you know the success of Hov now. But I'm gonna stop you because everybody not following that trend because we got a junkie trend right now. Okay, thank you. Everybody well, 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 so you you got to be specific, man. I'm telling you, I'm giving you the play to do what you're going to do and speak your mind, but you got to be mindful of what you're saying. Well, this is really not a business proposal, you know, because, you know, I'm not the face of it. I'm just uh, I'm just giving the message along, you know, pretty much. That's just what it is. And that's it. That's all I can tell you. You know, it's going to take $100 billion. So if you want to do that together, that's another conversation we're gonna have at another time. But, but uh, who said who said it's gonna take a hundred billion? You know, that's a lot of money. A hundred 
I mean, a hundred billion, a lot of money. So what? what? I want to. That's what I want to spend. So you want to spend a hundred? Yeah. In three decades. Well, even if somebody was donating something to you to run it up to a hundred billion, it's kind of damn near impossible because don't nobody we know even got a hundred billion. So, only way you're going to get money like that, if you the person Warren Buffett say he's going to give his money to instead of his kids. That's it. And so far, Bezos just showed that he gave us, uh, Van Jones a hundred million. So, there go a stepping stone, stepping stone for him and said he can do whatever he want to do with it. So, I'm not going to dim the light on what you're saying because Hey, Warren Buffett could give you the hundred billion, right? Even so, if he worth that, I don't even know if Warren Buffett worth a hundred billion. But if he, if he, because he said he ain't giving it to his kids, so when he passes away, so you need to be trying to stay in touch with Warren Buffett because well, he ain't giving it to his kids, and you got an idea and a plan that need a hundred billion. So you got to start there. Floyd Mayweather cool with him. I don't know if you know Floyd, but. You got to stay on his bumper. So that way, hey, man, I need one buffer because I need $100 billion. You got to talk to people that's dealing with that type of money. Yeah, that's what I'm actually doing right now. That's cool. You know, I'm just, you know, bringing you along the board, you know, adding, adding you to it. I appreciate that. And that's what we call it. Because I'm definitely with. one that's used to some money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, that's what, and, that's, and, that's what, and that's what we call the halal way. Mm-hmm. You know, and which means the honest way, the blessing way. And what you got to do, you got to start on a on a on a um a journey to trying to get the money you're looking for, and yeah. to start doing yeah. what it is you're trying to do. Yeah, we two, yeah we two decade in on that. Is anybody else doing what you're doing? Or trying no. to do? Uh, everyone. I don't know if everyone's trying to do what I'm trying to do, but I'm two decades in. Okay. Well, you you two decades in already, so do you got the fifty billion already? Well, we don't discuss those numbers, but the point is, I mean that's a long time, so I I don't want to waste my time and you wasting yours neither. Because if you're 20, 20 years in and you know the goal been to have $100 billion, and you say the goal is 30, 33 decades, that's 30 years. Yeah, it is. So you should be – our conversation should be like, hey, I didn't raise $50 billion. The goal is 100 and I'm doing this with the 50 right now, but that ain't the conversation we having. So I'm kind of, I'm lost right now. Okay, well, that's a different conversation. So where we at now is uh, there's an election coming up in my country in February. So they want me to run for president. What country? That's Mali, West Africa. Okay. And the current president, he's, he's about two years older than me. I'm 36, he's 38. Okay. And that's my, you know, what I'm saying is, you know, I'm just using a different vernacular. You know, that's, you know, he's he's a friend of the family, and and and, and I motivate him. For okay. Lack of, for lack of a better term. So why so, are you not on his? Why are you not on his committee? Even though y'all would be like, you know, how Biden and Obama was, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Biden was the vice president, and he became the president. Why y'all ain't doing it the same way? If he a family friend. Well, I haven't communicated with this gentleman for about about two decades, so we went different paths in our lives. Oh, okay. I'm here in the U.S. He's out there, you know. He's in the more the political world. I'm more in the, you know, enjoying my lifestyle. Well, you think the people gonna agree with you with that to be their president? So you'd enjoy well, your lifestyle like a a president is supposed to be for the people. Exactly. Very good point. So now. <laughs> Okay, you speak the language. So, so, so we, we. Hey, man, let me tell you this, man. I done my ancestry. dot com. I'm nineteen percent Mali, man. Thirty three percent Nigerian. 
Okay. Before I left this earth, I was stepping my foot in West Africa of Mali, you know what I'm saying, with one of my favorite and great mentors when it going to come to anything with some money is Mansa Musa. You know what I'm saying? He the man that introduced money to hope to civilization, period. So, yeah. Yeah. so we just seen try. So for you to go there, which is a red flag, because they're not even letting the Americans go over there right now. For the last about last eight to ten years that I've been trying to go, I haven't been able to go. Even when I feel if I can fly somewhere closer and get over there, it still was gonna be a problem because of American passport. So I don't really know how you're gonna pull this off, but I hope you pull it off and keep me in mind because I'm definitely gonna come. Yeah, that's the easy part. See, with me, uh, it's simple. You can't be a broke president, and to, you have to understand some form of capital. And I haven't been in Mali since I was five years old. So politics is, is not my strength. I believe entertainment is what brings people together. But That's brother, it. you saying you gonna run for president for Mali, but I you're didn't. not in the politics. It's it's you you. No, listen. Hold listen, on, listen, man. listen. I don't want because you on here with a lot of people. I got hundred and twelve thousand followers, bro. I don't want you sounding crazy under my watch. Listen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> listen, listen. You, because you talking, you 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 say you want to be a president, then you say you're not in the politics. It it ain't it ain't adding up like. Well, go ahead. Go I, I didn't ahead. say I want to be president. I say they want me to be to run for president of my Why? Why? If you're not into president, if you're not into if you're not into politics, why would the people of Mali want you out of out of all the other eight billion people to run for president for their country? Why? I don't understand that. Because what I what I have done for Mali single handedly. Uh, no, no, no president have done. And I, what and you, I, and what you that, do, what you do for Mali? Uh, just help people become self-sufficient as far as helping them with their business here in the U S so they could, so they could run, uh, a, a simple transaction down there as far as like, uh, over a few people millionaires with crypto just investing in bitcoin just simple uh advice that i've given to family members that pro that has prospered so okay now i'm gonna cut you off right there because i'm not into crypto i don't care about crypto it's a scam to me i don't like it i want to be able to touch my money my money come with instructions so i tried it i invested in it once I seen it start losing, I took my money and started taking my kids on vacations. That's what I did with the money that I invested in crypto. So just like now, it's two brothers from wherever they from, Dubai, wherever they was from, and they on a run with over $3 billion of people money from the crypto. So now that's, that's my second strike. Now, if you about to come on here and start talking to some crypto, that's going to be my third strike because I'm not – Telling nobody to invest in that. I'm a I'm more of a hard lender. I want my money to where I can go knock on somebody's door when I give a mine. That's just how I am. I'm not even okay. with banks. I think even with banks. Okay, I think you're having a misinterpretation of our No, I ain't, I ain't having no misinterpretation. I know what I'm hearing. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I'm clearly I'm I just ate some good food. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, hey, I ain't having no miscommunications. So, so I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to sell anything to you. Huh? I'm not trying to sell anything to you. I'm not trying to get you or any of your people to invest or follow me. I'm just communicating with you as one Muslim to another. That's all it is, brother. You know. So just like I was raised and born, I'm a man before anything, and you got to know that too. We men before anything, and we secondly got to know religion was used to control us. Period. So for me in my life and being Muslim and what Muslims stand for, to me from Elijah, Elijah, Honorable Elijah Muhammad 
and being in the Mars Marion being in my neighborhood that I seen every day of my life when I walked out my door, I knew that I needed some type of direction. But I don't let no religion uh dictate my thought process neither. But it helps me. It do that. It helps me, but it's a lot of religion pimps. And I ain't, and I'm not shy of who they are. It's a lot of religion pimps, and they'll use that to pimp the people, just like pastors do in Christian churches, to pimp the people. If there's anything to do anything negative to the people, I'm not with it. And I want everybody to know that. You and, and, and whoever else, everybody to know that. If it's going to do some harm to our people, I'm straight on it. I, I pass. No thank you. And I tell people that all the time. All money ain't good money. I'm not a whore for money. I know how I feel to not have it. And I know how I feel to keep it. And I know how it make you feel when you got it and anybody want it because they didn't figure out how to get it when you got it. So it's like, I don't really, once again, I, I, we done went from, we done went from, uh, all right, so all right. Okay, let, let, me just, let me just add to it. So one thing in Islam is very simple. It's not complicated. There's no such thing as manipulation. That's one. And two, uh, it's it's very simple, brother. This is the reason why I created the Halal way. It's one plus one equals two. There's no there's no manipulation. There's no I want you to do this. I want you to do that. I don't know you. I never met you. This is our first time having a conversation. So the short the short version is what I have going on is the halal way. What's next? They want me to run for president. What else? I'm into crypto. How you get to do what you want to do? Because I understand stocks and crypto. That's it. That's what What's I it? do. What city are you in? I'm sorry? What city are you in? I'm from New York City. I'm currently in California. I'm in Silicon Valley right now. What, what, what borough you grew up in? I'm from the Bronx. I'm from River Park Towers, the birthplace of hip hop. All right. And, and my name is Salif Fofano. So you can do your research and then, you know, we take it from there. I'm International Salif. And uh, you have a good day. Salam alaikum. Alaikum well, you too. You didn't have to hang up, bro, because I want to start asking who you are. I need to know who I'm talking to. I need to know who sent you. No disrespect. Respectfully. I got to know who I'm talking to. I don't just jump when I hear money. That ain't what I do. But, uh, I'll get back at y'all soon. Let me finish eating. Come on.